Hey guys, in this video we'll see how to install the XBMC app for the iPad and this process also applies to the iPhone and the iPod Touch and the other iDevices and um, the XBMC app if you don't know it's a complete media center uh, solution mm, and uh, let's get started with the process and the device I have with me right now is the fourth generation uh, iPad and um, you need to make sure that you have jailbroken your iPad and uh, make sure you have Cydia installed on your iPad and um, so we're gonna go to Cydia and we're gonna go under sources that's the first step go under sources and add the XPMC source there so under the sources you should be able to see edit on the top right corner and so just tap on the edit and just click on add which is on the left side and you should be uh, given a box where you can enter a website address for uh, the XBMC so type in mirrors dot XBMC dot org slash apt slash ios so mirrors dot XBMC dot org slash apt slash ios and uh, Make sure you type in the address correctly without any errors and uh, after you're done you can just click on add source. That would add the uh, repo and um, there is a little installation procedure which goes. Um, I've already added mine so I haven't clicked on add the source. And uh, next thing you need to do is you need to enter that repo and you need to find XPMC iOS. You can see that there are two options, which is XBMC Icon Pack and XBMC iOS. The, the option which you need to choose for installing the XBMC is the XBMC iOS. Just click on Install button on the right corner, on the top right corner, and uh, you can see that it's 48 MB. And uh, <clears throat> the installation, if you have a pretty fast Wi-Fi, it shouldn't take that much time. But uh, my Wi-Fi is okay. But you know, Cydia has been undergoing. Uh, a server load because of these evasion jailbreak and um, we will return after this finishes up So if you noticed, uh, it has completed installing the um, <coughs> Cydia uh, on the uh, iPad and uh, you should be able to click on return to Cydia to return back to the Cydia application and uh, you can exit out of Cydia now and you can go under home screen and you should be able to find the XBMC icon there which means that XBMC app has been installed properly on your iPad. So we have finished in the installation procedures and I'll go over a few features or uh, you know a few setup procedures in order to import videos uh, into your XPMC. So you can see that there are different options, exit settings and to access favorites as well. So let's go under videos and let's see how we can <clears throat> add different files. The files remember are locally stored files so you just click on add source and you browse to the uh, path whatever you want I have the media um, folder chosen and um, you also can uh, add video add-ons uh, I'll show you a sample video add-on and uh, this is for Bollywood movies so yeah there you go we have access to different categories and all and uh, it works pretty well so um, that's the video section. Let's go under settings and let's take a look at how we can add uh, video sources or video add-ons. So you have different options here. You can get uh, add-ons from uh, the online XPMC database. Or you can uh, add your own repo and you can get add-ons from that repo. The other option is to download the repo from uh, internet onto your iPad and you can browse for that repo uh, inside your iPad and you can uh, add it to your 
something and here you can see that I have two repos downloaded I have two uh, zip files downloaded the first zip file is a video add-on that's the uh, entire video add-on and the second zip file is a zip file for adding a repo so you can also add a repo and you can uh, download video add-ons from that repo if a video add-on is not available to download so all you need to do is add a repo, download a video add-on, or if you have access to di directly download the video add-on, you can directly download the video add-on. Mm -hmm. So you can also change different settings for this app, just like you would do for a PC. I uh, didn't want that to happen. Um, yeah, so you can also change skins, you can also change various different settings for appearance, and uh, all the settings, most of the settings you would see on a PC, would be present in this app so yep that's it for uh, the video I guess uh, that was uh, basically the installation and a quick overview of the XPMC app I am also planning to make uh, a video about how to connect a hard disk external hard drive or a USB flash drive uh, to your iPad 4 and um, be sure to check uh, my video um, and uh, thanks for watching this video and be sure to like it helps and subscribe for